Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, Healing Ultimates, and welcome to episode 20 of Let's 100% Resident Evil 4. Uh, all I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go outside and save. <laughs> Which I've just realised. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I wonder what actually this does. Because I don't have enough time to make this next episode, but I wanted to save because otherwise I don't get to keep what I kept. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's try this. So, I'm going to use a shotgun here. And try and take these guys out. That's how I did it. I can't even remember. <laughs> that should be fine. Okay, now for this last guy, quickly shoot him. Head. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have this cutscene. A lot of enemies. Uh, you pretty much want to have your grenade, throw it. That explodes everyone. <laughs> Quickly put the shotgun on. And then just pick a side. You might get attacked like that, it's alright. And like that, it's fine. Come on. Turn. Ah, okay, somehow I managed to get away with that. And I want to use... Let's use this one. Full health. Okay, now all we have to do is just stay on this side. <laughs> there we go, next week. Ah! Oh god, this is not good. He's still there. Okay, I'm gonna run. That's fine. Yeah. Nice, killed him. Run! You can use other weapons as well if you want. Doesn't just have to be the shotgun. Oh, you're not dead yet. Uh, let's use... I was like, where's my TMP? <laughs> okay, quickly get all the treasures. Get a gold bangle as well. Nice, just got that in time. And that's it. This is the only... This enemy here it doesn't respawn. Oh, sorry, it doesn't despawn. Uh, okay, now this next part. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need the sniper rifle and we're gonna need the magnum. I just want to be careful. I guess I'll reload this as well. That's fine. All right. I dislike this part, but we're gonna try and do it anyway. Uh, okay. So inside this room, we find the. Oh, that's not what I want to do. We find two of those Wolverine type enemies and two regular dudes. So shoot the regular dudes. The problem with these Wolverine type guys is they won't always do the same thing. So this one's coming right at me, which is good. Yeah, he, they act weird. Like sometimes they sprint really fast. Sometimes they don't. On. Somehow missed. I think the next one's probably near me. I oh, know he's up there. Okay, I got a little bit lucky then. Come on. Oh god, now you come. Okay, uh, what have I got? I've got this, which I'll use. The other thing you can do is the bells are up here as well. Ah. How did I miss that? Okay, that's fine. I'm out of bullets, but that's alright. Don't, uh, don't reload. The Magnum, that is. Oh gosh, there's so many. Okay, we're probably gonna die. This uh, this part really sucks. <laughs> uh, let's use an end sentry. Huh. Oh crap. Uh, take this. Switch back to this. I was like, maybe I can make this work. I really don't want to use that one. Run! Let me see if I can shoot this. If I <laughs> missed completely four times. <laughs> ah, get away from me. Ding, there we go. What? They're still coming after me. There's bullcrap. Oh, okay. Please die. Okay, he's dead. 
this part just really sucks. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. So where's the other guy? <laughs> nice. <laughs> the double. Green herb. He's over there. May as well just try that. I want to quickly actually get the uh, the money that the other guy dropped. Oh, first aid spray, I'll take that. Yoink, I'll use that. Come on, go, 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 go. Don't disappear, don't disappear. 15,000 pesatas. Where did he go? Where are you? I can probably shoot the bell again because... He's behind me, isn't he? No, he's over there. Okay. Yep, go, go, go. Perfect. Okay, not perfect. But he died. Yay, I did it. Yeah, that room... There's... I, I don't know. I, I cannot find a good way to do that room. You could technically bring a uh, rocket launcher if you want. Um, I just felt like with that room... It's still really weird. There, There is a speedrun strat with the rocket launcher that I think works. You fire it sort of like there and it hits both of them, but... I don't know. I hadn't practiced it, so I may choose to do that for the um, for the professional mode run. I'm thinking, actually, to be honest, that uh, I will probably do a lot of strategies that are speedrun type strategies in the professional mode, but I'll mix it in with like regular stuff just because I know like some of those strategies might be a little bit tough, but we'll see. Let's uh, go through here. Did I? I don't think I missed anything. There should be. Yeah, there's a shiny here. I think there's one over here too. Two spinals. And now we get a cutscene. I just, you know what? Let me check my notes just to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing there. No, that's it. All right, let's go. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? No! Leon! Hmm. Where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. comes off? Hmm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! <laughs> Your right hand comes off. Uh, okay, and yes, chapter 4-1, uh, yeah, 4-1 is still not complete. We are now in a sewer type area, and I'm just trying to be very thorough here because there's a few things that you can collect. Now, namely, you can collect the crown. The crown is very valuable. Uh, we need to find different pieces. Uh, let's go to TMP ammo, some magnum ammo, another yellow herb, very important. Uh, oh yeah, Leon will keep constantly looking around because they decided to code it so that um, if he sees bats, there's a velvet blue, he, he'll look at them. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else here now. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, so we fall into this sewer type area, there's a whole bunch of stuff to collect. Uh, we also have the merchant here, and this uh, incendiary grenade, <laughs> not this incendiary grenade, this merchant is one of the most important ones because we're going to buy a few things from him Welcome. so we've got a whole bunch of upgrades that we can get got some rare. What are you so you'll see we have access to a new shotgun the striker we're definitely going to buy that uh we need a rocket launcher for uh for now so we're going to get that too so let's go ahead and let me just have a look at this one yeah okay so screw that i didn't it didn't even have to upgrade that 
So we're gonna get rid of the riot gun. Pretty expensive. And then we're gonna buy the striker. This is all around a better shotgun. And there's actually something very special about the striker, which I'll show off in a moment. Uh, we do want to upgrade the capacity on... Give me a second here. That one, that one, that one. And let's do that. Uh, we do up want to upgrade the capacity on the Magnum. So let's do that. Uh, that's buy, so tune up. We have a look. This can stay as is. Magnum, we're going to upgrade to 8. So very good. We can upgrade to 10 as well if we need to. Uh, striker, let's get that 7, 2.4. And we'll leave the capacity as it is. We can upgrade the capacity of that and that, but we're not going to. Let me have a quick look at what we've got. Okay. All right, and now I get to show off um, a very cool glitch. Uh, let me save the game. This is known as the Dittman glitch, and uh, it's very easy to pull off, and I'll explain exactly how to do it. And uh, I'm gonna demonstrate, actually, you know what? I'm gonna demonstrate like this. Climb up this ladder, and you can see the, um, you can see how the camera pans up as you climb. Now I'm going to jump back down. And now what I'm going to do is perform the Dipman glitch. The Dipman glitch allows uh, Leon to run at about 1.5 times his regular speed. In order to perform it, you need to have the striker. You need to equip it. Then you need to aim with the striker. And before that red laser sight comes up, you need to pause the game. Oh, yeah, you need to press like the touchpad button to enter the status menu. Uh, the other thing you need to do is you need to hold down L2. So like, don't do that and then let go of L2. Just keep holding it. So holding L2, go into status menu. Now just change to any other item. And all of a sudden, the Dipman glitch, glitch is active. You can see he's running much, much faster. Um, that's pretty much all it is. Like you just pick something and, and you activate it. Now watch the camera. He's climbing so much faster. The camera can't even keep up and look, I can move like this, see? Um, and it's really good for this this point uh, right at like right now this point it's really good to have it have active so let's continue get the velvet blue it will um, there are lots of things that will happen like opening doors um, changing I think changing back to the striker causes it to go away we've got this cutscene here so he said okay even viewing that cutscene kind of deactivated it um, got a spinal there yeah, there's a lot of things that cause it to deactivate, but it is really useful. Um, I want to talk more about it in a sec. Let's uh, open this door. So he sent his right hand to come after us. His right hand... Oh, crap, I forgot to buy the stupid rocket launcher. All right, well, perfect opportunity to perform the dip in, so let's do that. And you've got, like, plenty of time to, to do it. it. It's very, very simple. The The trick, like I said, just make sure you hold, keep holding L2 while you press the the status or the touchpad button. Status screen button, I think it's called. Let's go back here. Um, so there is a trophy to actually defeat um, that Verdugo guy. And the best way to do that is to actually defeat him with uh, with the rocket launcher. So let's put that right there. Okay, talking to the merchant doesn't deactivate it for some reason. My assumption, uh, and I think the assumption of a lot of people, because um, this is used in the speedrun heavily, obviously, <laughs> look how much faster you can go, um, is that this was implemented, and it might even be the case for a lot of games, um, when uh, quality assurance and like looking for bugs is done internally, um, so you can get f to like different places in the game much quicker. Um, but then again, I, f I feel like they could input some kind of like teleport system where it's like, just put me here, just put me there. Okay. Um, I was going to do it with the Dipman, but I I'm not going to do it with the Dipman. So what's going to happen now is Verdugo is going to try and attack us and we need to use the dodge um, QTEs to avoid him. Ignore all the rooms. So here he comes. Dodge. Ignore all the rooms to the left and right. Crouch. Just keep doing that. Like what I'm doing. Run all the way in here. Skip past all this. Go right to the back. And check this. It's a power unit. Turn the power on. The elevator's power is back on. So that's, yeah, that's powering the elevator that we need. Please wait approximately four minutes for the elevator to arrive. No, that's really slow. You can avoid it sometimes without having to do the QTE. Uh, and it's a lot easier to do so if you're using Dipman. Um, but if you're not, then just uh, dodge. This, uh, the area must be locked down for safety reasons. I hope it's temporary. Open the shutter. Yes. It looks like it may not open for a while. Okay, there's Verdugo. 
You're a very creepy guy. Turn around. He's going to be right here. Don't worry. Just run past him. Go all the way here. Go right to this um, liquid nitrogen uh, canister. That'll cause him to freeze. And now this is the only time that he can actually take damage or receive damage. So just hit him with the rocket launcher. Did I miss? I missed. Uh, well, that was very unlucky. I was so close to him and I completely missed. Uh, let's do Dipman to get there a little bit quicker. We. That was silly. <laughs> I can't believe I missed. Skip that. Let's see. Uh, actually, you know what? Now that I showed it off uh, in the regular way, um, watch what happens this way. So the QTE should happen around the same time, but I'm not even going to do it. Okay, he, he got me. It's not, it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to avoid it, but um, it is possible. And now Ditman's deactivated. I'm guessing it's called Ditman because of like the name of the guy who discovered it. I'm not entirely sure of that, but that's my guess. Seems like a reasonable guess to me. <laughs> Okay, open the shutter, turn, go around here, knock over the li liquid nitrogen. I just wanted to stay like a little bit further away from him before using the, ro the rocket launcher. <laughs> That's why it took me a little bit of time to prepare. Okay, there we go. A terrifying assassin. And yeah, you get a trophy immediately for beating him. And the great thing, so you get uh, the crown jewel, which is an item that we can equip to the crown. And that four minutes that we would have had to wait just goes away. So they just automatically give you, you know, they're like, all right, cool. You, you, you did what you needed to do. Here it is. <laughs> just really nice. Okay, get this green herb. Uh, we got the shotgun shells. Let's get out of here. I would use Ditman, but I'll, uh, it's not that far away and... Yeah, you can use these other liquid nitrogen canisters to um, to try and you know freeze him and use regular weapons, but it's pretty much like heavily suggested that you should use the rocket launcher because you may as well spend thirty thousand on the rocket launcher, take him out in one hit, and not have to worry about it, rather than spending like all this crazy amounts of ammo just trying to take him down. So that's definitely how I do it. Okay, let's go around here. How are we going? We're pretty much at the end of chapter 4-1, which is great because we're about to finish the episode. Um, I will... Okay, handgun ammo, another first aid spray. Uh, that's why I had two. I've practiced a little bit more than what where I'm up to right now and I was like, how do I have, how do I have two? Alright, operate and that should be the end of the chapter. that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Okay, cool. That was at the end of chapter 4-1. Don't know who that last guy was. Apparently his name is Krauser. That's strange. <laughs> Alright, we'll find about find out about Krauser in a little bit. Nice camera. <laughs> okay, here we are at the start of chapter 4-2, but uh, we're going to leave it for next time. Um, I guess I'll quickly collect some stuff here. Green herb. There's a few random barrels. Rifle ammo, hand grenade, spinal. Uh, we've got the handgun ammo. There is this file, but I think I'm gonna pick it up next time. And I guess I'll have a look at what the merchant has to say. Okay, I don't think he's got anything else to sell. That's fine, tune up. Blacktail, still that. Broken butterfly, don't worry about it. Striker, don't worry about it. Rifle, nope. DMP, nope. Okay, don't worry about anything there. What are you selling? Anything we can sell? I guess we could sell a bunch of uh, spinals, velvet blues, definitely sell the gold bangle. Do not sell the crown jewel or the crown. You see, it was uh, one was 11,000 and the other was 9,000, so it's 20,000 altogether. Let's see how much this one is worth. Like the combination of both of them. Yeah, okay, so we got like 5,000 extra just for putting, uh, just for combining that. 
Um, okay, I think I'll leave it there and we'll continue next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 20 of Let's 100% Resident Evil 4. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.